I want to do a quick little video um, about that about the, some tools that I got, but I'm going to transition that into good service. So um, I have to do a, a, a deep job in some uh, steel, and I've got to take out a lot of material. There'll be a video about that, uh, the actual process coming up. Um, so I had to get a uh, long carbide end mill to do clean up and um, a high feed mill from YG1 to so I'm going to transition over to um, fifth axis here. I had I had my fifth axis have a problem coming out of the rock lock base. And so I called them and just asked, hey, you know, is there something going on? Like, is there, you know, I've never had this happen before. Is there an easy way to fix it? And the guy's like, oh, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll just send you uh, new studs and uh, new sleds, um, I believe is what they call that. And without no questions asked, I, I, I got the, I had actually gotten the sled loose by the time the guy called me, uh, the rock lock vice loose by the time uh, he called me back. But he went ahead and sent me new stuff anyway. And that was the first time I'd ever had a problem. Um, and, I, and I really hadn't had a problem since, but it's just that kind of service that, that I really appreciate. Speaking of great service, the uh, skim ray here. Uh, this company, the pump went bad on it, and they, I did, I, I just sent an email in, you know, to try to get a price on the pump because uh, I don't think there was a, a listing for a price to just buy the pump. So sent an email, and they said, oh, that that rarely happens, and uh, you know, let me verify your address. We'll send you out another one, and um, yeah, so all around great service there. You, you got to support the uh, the people who give you great service to keep them in business. Um, this thing hasn't been cleaned. So we've had this thing about a year and a half. We cleaned it once, I believe. Um, and the next time I want to actually clean it on video. Uh, this is why I refer to as the oil pig. Um, and there's all kind of crap caught in here. Um, oil and some plastic, I think. And uh, I don't know what these small particles are. Um, maybe just I don't know. I really don't know what they are. Um, but anyway, man, this thing has been uh, been a true champ as well. All right. Oh, I figured I'd give a shot of the actual uh, coolant here. Um, I mean, that stuff is as clean as it gets. Uh, a little foaming, but, yeah, that's kind of an issue um, that we have. But it's not too bad. All right. Oh, well, I'll show you one other thing down here where it's made it underneath the, uh, I forget what that little ledge is to keep the, the oil from the top. When we let it get too low, the oil is able to s sneak over to the other side. And that's what this whole tank would look like without this skim ray. I wanted to finish out this video by saying that, uh, you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are just companies that have given me really good support. You gotta support the companies who, who make a great product or, uh, you know, give you really good support because you know we got to keep them in business and you know the fly-by-night companies can they can come and go but the, but the guys that really really you know go the extra mile we really should support so um, if you've got any companies that you really like that really good tools that you like um, you know post them below and so everybody can um, can support these companies anyway I appreciate you guys watching take care